All right, hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Let me get the camera up just a little bit here. And then we'll go back down like that. <clears throat> so we're about ready to prime this mandolin. I got one little area up underneath the bridge, if you guys can see right there, that I got to sand. So let's get on that and then we're going to wipe this thing down and we're going to shoot in some primer today. So I think... I'm just going to stick with the way I've done it before, and that's just taking a putty knife and some 220 sandpaper. And I'm putting it under there and just going side to side. I know you're not supposed to sand against the grain, but this has got a finish on it, so I'm not really sanding the grain. We'll get this down smooth and then we'll get it all wiped down and we'll uh, and if you can see what I'm doing I'm going under that fretboard it's got an extension here now I gotta find my glasses so let me find my glasses and get this thing finished sanded and I'll bring you guys right back all right, now that this thing is sanded, we're gonna take some acetone here. And a paper towel. I prefer the blue paper towels that are like shop rags, but I don't have any right now. So now we're going to Wipe this thing all down completely, even up underneath there where I was just sanding, all the sides, and I'm going to try not to put it back down on my uh, workbench because my workbench is a little dusty. You can see what we're getting off of it. We'll probably do that twice trying to get up in the scroll both front and back of it you can see all the dirt that come out of there all right that's one now I am going to lay it back down because I got to do it again Now we're going to do the back really, really, really good and up around the top of the scroll and then do the sides. And you can see we're still getting off quite a bit. So we may even do this again. We want our surface to be prepped just as good as possible to get as well of a, uh, I'm going to actually lay this down here where it's not all dusty and stuff and get one more rag and see what it looks like. I like acetone because it dries almost instantly and I don't have to wait for it. It does really good at getting dust and grime and dirt and all that good stuff off and I think this is going to be the last time we have to do it there we go I think it is now ready to be primed so let's get start set up for that Okay, so we're outside on the porch, and my goal is to put at least three coats of this primer on there. No, I'm not sponsored. It's just what I prefer to use. But my biggest thing is, is that scroll, inside that scroll. 
So I'm going to work on that first, and you guys might not get the best, the best visual of it. Because I'm sure, ah, and I've got runs already. That's not good. Yep, that's not good. But I think I managed to save it. So, we'll go ahead and lightly coat it. We're just going to do a dusting. Ah, got runs on the back too. I saved it. It's splattering is what it's doing. Of course, we can sand all that out. One of the other little things I don't know if I showed you guys that I did was I, uh, sorry about that. I had to get a rag. I had to put paper towels down inside the F holes so not to spray the inside. some runs really bad on the back so let's let that dry for about 15 minutes and I'll bring you guys right back all right well that coats about dry so it's been a good 15 minutes now I'll try to put on a little more even of a coat three of these coats. This way I know the primers on there are good and thick. Of course I can sand that little bitty run. I don't even see it now. But I know it's there. I can sand all that out. Yep. Just created another run. I think I'm just getting too close when I'm painting. And I know with the, the sun out here is really weird. It's making it where you can't see really well. Not that that was my excuse. I don't have an excuse, I just messed up, but keep shaking your can.
Now let's let that dry about 15 minutes and we'll shoot her again. We want three good thick coats on there. And this is two times the coverage anyways. So that's basically going to be about six coats. And then we'll let her sit out here and dry for a couple hours. So I'll bring you back here in just a minute. Well, about 15 minutes, but it'll be a second for you guys. All right, time for the third coat. We'll shake our paint up really, really, really good. I think I'll go ahead and start with the sides. So one thing I notice is I do have what I would call a bad run on the bottom side down here. Uh, it's nothing major. And it'll definitely, definitely, definitely come out with sanding. So I'm not worried at all about it. You know, I just happen to remember, I probably need to tilt this a certain way and make sure that I get under that uh, fretboard where we just sanded. Yep, and I did it too thick and got to run. Boy, I tell you what, I'm not a good painter, am I? Now the run that was on the back, I don't see now. I know it still has to be there. And I think that's it. I think we're gonna call that quits. We used about a half a can. So I'll bring you guys back here in a little bit. Just a second for you guys, a couple minutes for me. All right, so there we have it. It's all painted, well primed. <clears throat> And as you can see, I, I have one pretty bad run right here on the top, but that'll sand out really easy. All right, so let's take this masking tape off and just see just how good we did. Boy, it's got to be interesting sitting here watching me take off masking tape. I can see now that I did pick out my color. No, I'm not going to tell you on this video what my color is. But I think we are going to have to paint the headstock. Quality entertainment, watching somebody take off masking tape. But once I take off the masking tape, then I can get a good look at exactly how good I did on it and how much more body work I'm going to have to do, if any. And I'm sure there's going to be a little bit, but, and I'll show you guys more. I know you guys thought, you know, oh my God, he's using Bondo on a wooden instrument and but when you don't know how to do it the correct way you do it any way that you possibly can and it's not my first time I haven't done it a lot but I've done it a few times all right almost done and then we'll 
glasses on and, and look and see just how good we actually did. And just to give you guys an idea, from the last coat that I put on there where I caused that run, uh, I've already been to the grocery store, to the hardware store, uh, to another store, over to my dad's, picked up the boys, uh, off the school bus. Uh, I've done quite a bit. Oh, and I think that's when I took my walk. I walk about a block. I may have done that in between second and third coat. I don't rightly remember. All right. Now, let's get our glasses on. We got one more little piece there. I can't seem to get my fingernail under. <laughs> There we go. Now I got it. Okay, so the top, nitpicking it, I can see I need just a little more body work right here. And the, the pick guard will hide that, but I still want it perfect. A um, little bit right here. I got a little bit of a drip right here. That all looks good. That can sand out. Let's look at this side. Now see, if you guys see, probably you can't even see no marks or anything, but I see a few. So once it dries really, really, really good, got some runs down here. Oh, they're not bad at all. On this side, in the scroll looks pretty good. I see one little spot that I want to body work inside the scroll, which is hard to do. The back, got a few little runs up here. Yeah, I mean, even the design that I made right here to transition from this to the neck, that don't look too bad. Yeah, I think I like it. I think I am going to hang it back up. I'm going to go ahead and leave that paper in there. Uh, yeah, I got just some light sanding to do on it probably tomorrow. And some very, very, very light body work left to do like right here right here a little bit I mean probably once I get get a color on it you won't notice that but I don't want to take that chance so there it is in gray and as you can see you can't tell I replaced the back you know there was binding around it I didn't know how to do that I didn't have the machines to do it so I did a lot of rounding to make it not sharp edges I'm glad I did that so, anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and even better tomorrow, and an awesome night. And I'm trying to bend down so you guys can see me. There we go. Hope you guys have a great day, and even better tomorrow, an awesome night. We'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. And please, please, please be safe. And hey, if you guys want <clears throat> to help support the channel, go back and look at some of my old videos. I've got over 900 videos. I've got all kinds of topics on there. You guys go back and check some of those out. Watch the ads if you don't mind. We'll see you on the next video. Have a super, super great day. Bye.